than 800 elevators are overdue for inspection in Atlanta alone. This was according to state documents obtained by 11 Alive and investigators, but for some, it's way too late. In 2021, a teenager died during an elevator malfunction in the old fourth war. Yeah, many remember that story. Yeah. And now a whistleblower has come forward with evidence that the building owners knew it was unsafe. He spoke exclusively with our Savannah Levins, who joins us now with the story. That whistleblower provided me with documents showing that he was assigned to make repairs to the elevator, but tells me management refused because it was too expensive. That likely cost Jamarcus McFarland his life and may point to a bigger problem in our buildings. If you want to help, you have to go back. Body camera video shows firefighters attempting to rescue 18-year-old Jamarcus McFarland from a malfunctioning elevator in this Highland Avenue building. Other riders escape as it drops, but McFarland became pinned between the top of the elevator and the floor. He died after an hour-long attempt to save him. This is a tragic loss because we lost a good young man who had a bright, bright future. Attorney Sean Williams is representing the McFarland family in a lawsuit against the building's management, saying that elevator was overdue for inspection. The owners of this building knew about this dangerous condition and had every opportunity to prevent it. So it just makes it even double worse. You lost your child, but it was preventable. And now a whistleblower is coming forward saying the owners skipped fixes to save money. There had been no maintenance done whatsoever. The contractor asked that we protect his identity, but provided evidence showing he'd warned management the elevators were a life safety risk. And what was the response to that? Basically, no. Can you get more quotes so we can shop this around? I don't want to spend that type of money for this. You know, we can get it done cheaper. I emphatically told them that this is not something we, can, we have time to play with. This is something that has to be done. Uh, and done immediately. It's not something you can shop around. And while the repairs were being delayed, Jamarcus was killed. It was very, very tragic, uh, but it was very, very preventable. There's no way to put a price on a life. And I think that's what was done. And what your whistleblower shows and proves is they made a conscious decision to save costs over the lives of people. We made numerous attempts over several weeks to contact the building management and owners, but never heard back. William says the McFarland family hopes to see real change come from this tragedy. We have millions of people every day in this state riding elevators. And if you don't make sure they're maintained in a proper way, this unfortunate situation can, can come to somebody else's um, family and life. In Georgia, the fine for failing to keep an elevator inspection up to date is $500. Which is nothing. You know, what's that life worth? Elevator operators have to request those annual inspections. It's not automatic. We uncovered 825 elevators in Atlanta alone are past due. There are codes in place to prevent this, but they just need to be enforced. We take a risk every time we're on the elevator. Our job on behalf of this family is to get them justice, get your Marcus justice, make sure his legacy live on, but to make sure that this doesn't happen to anybody else. We've learned a bill was previously introduced in Georgia to crack down on overdue inspections, including raising the fine from $500 to $2,500, but it did not pass. We just reached out to the sponsors to ask if they plan to propose something similar again, but have not yet heard back. We'll keep you updated.